Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. I was commissioned to do a little promotional video for World of Tanks, the free online computer game. Here is some gameplay I recorded earlier. Download World of Tanks for free. I have a custom link in the description. And that will give you a free premium tank, 250 gold, a free garage slot and even 7 days premium time. What it is, is a free to play online game. It's very successful, they have more than 150 million players already. Uh, it's set in the mid 20th century uh, and you have the choice between like 450 authentic tanks. Some of them real big and some of them light and fast. Since this is not a virtual reality channel, but we're doing real things, I thought I'd start out with two model tanks that actually are remote controlled. So I bought two of them and uh, wanted to have some fun with them. <laughs> Let me start with this one. It's the Tiger One, German tank of course. It was introduced in 1943, so it came at a very, very important stage of the war and it was absolutely superior. It actually flat out dominated the entire battlefield. And it is pretty quick. It's actually a lot of fun. And also it can fire. Okay, let's see. That was easy. Not bad. <laughs> and this is the US answer to the Tiger tank. Because all the tanks that the Americans had before this one came along could not really crack a Tiger tank. So the M26 uh, Pershing came along. It actually made it into the war very late. As late as, uh, you know, late 1944. So it really couldn't do much action. You can also do all the basic things like lift the cannon and turn the cannon. But as you see, this one can also fire. It fires little BBs. Let's take a shot at the camera a moment. <laughs> it actually is pretty harmless, but not bad. Let's see if we can use it for a suicide shot. <laughs> okay, that's, that's fine. That is really fun. It's almost the same fun that you can experience when you play the game. But of course, it's the real world. What I don't like is that they have no destruction power. I mean, this one doesn't shoot at all, it just makes a sound and hops a little bit. And this one shoots a tiny BB with a soft air power. So, our task here at the Slingshot Channel is to make one of them. <laughs> the idea is to use one of our pressurized air shooters that are slingshotted open by means of rubber. But for that we need to construct a remote control unit that can pull a trigger. And for pulling the trigger we are using a servo for RC model toys, quite fitting. And this is really a, an electrical motor that can turn this little lever here to any desired position with a lot of force. The only thing is that you cannot just hook it up to a battery because you need to set the position of this and this is done with a pulse. So we need a pulse generator to operate the engine properly. So this is our little setup. First we have the servo. Connected to the trigger of course. Then we need a battery. And since this needs 6 volts, we are simply using 4 AA batteries. Okay. Now we need the pulse generator. And this can be done by buying an inexpensive servo tester. Because that simply has a little knob here that you can turn and then put this into any position. So it's a servo tester, right, connects to the servo. Then of course we need a switch and the switch we're just using a remote control device and this can be anything. We can use this here which is really infrared. This has a disadvantage that it will not go through walls. So we could also use radio controlled ones like for garage door openers or we could even use Wi-Fi operated relays that can be handled with a smartphone app. 
So anyway, here is our remote switch. Okay, the remote switch, of course, needs a little own battery, a 12 volt battery, so it can receive the signal from the remote with a big fire button. Okay, and then we simply need to connect the battery to this here. Setup is easy, you press the button. The remote switch closes, electricity flows into the servo tester, servo tester generates the pulse, and then the servo would spin into the right firing position and bang! And here is the final contraption! <laughs> a deadly toy with a deadly toy gun! <laughs> Let me show you its features! Now of course, if I would live in the US, I could also shoot bullets, uh, or BBs from this one it would probably be uh, as effective, if not even more. But this, uh, this here, with the uh, arrow that glides over the barrel and not through the barrel, is considered a toy gun in Germany. And I think I find it matching that I attached a toy remote gun to a toy, this tank. So, this is the little contraption. The air comes in here, and you pressurize this thing up to 150 bars or something. This is the ball valve that is slingshotted open by rubber, what else? So it violently swings open once this trigger here is pulled. And this is the servo pulling on the trigger. This is the uh, servo tester, which uh, will make sure that this fully opens. This is the receiver for the uh, radio controlled garage door opener. And I actually attached a little switch here, so that it's not soaking up the energy from the little 12 volt battery that I attached. Okay, so, when I press this button here, as you see the trigger will be opened and the shot can fall. And if I want to reset it, I simply do it the other way around. See, now I can recock it. If I keep this pressed, then of course, I can use, do it like this. But the idea is, of course, to have it in a preset condition so that I can slingshot it open. Like this, of course, this is not pressurized, but the trigger will open it. Bang! <laughs> because, as you see, I attached the original cannon to the contraption, which is on hinges, so I can easily drive this up and down. So I have full motion. Okay, let's test it against ballistic gelatin. Ah! <laughs> it went through. This obviously wasn't a full hit, so we'll try again with better aiming. Okay. And fire. <laughs> Okay, that's definitely deep, deep into the dense ballistic gelatin block. I think that's a deadly arrow. Okay, now it's time for the ultimate tank deathmatch. <laughs> now 
Let's bring the Pershing tank into position. And now the German Tiger. Now the Sherman attacks first. But as you see, the bullets cannot crack the armament of the Tiger tank. Okay, now it's the Tiger's turn. Ha! A little low, but I think it hit him right underneath the armament. All right, that blow was tough, but I don't think it disabled the tank. So we have to try again. Ha! Interesting, what happened? I think it shot right into the cannon. What an amazing trick shot. <laughs> I'm not sure if that would have disabled the Pershing, but I think it would. One more try. Fire. Ha! Now it's dead. Okay, as you see, this was quite a deadly blow. It really embedded itself deeply into the tank, but let's see if it still runs. Okay, I can no longer turn the turret. I can still fire the gun dry, but no longer with the BB. But it still drives. Look at that. Ha. <laughs> and of course, my machine gun still works. Well, it's auto. Okay, one more attempt. This time sideways. And. Fire! <laughs> right through the turret. Well, I guess we can conclude that this one is now definitely dead. <laughs> it is a lot of fun, although it's a lot more fun when you have a second player against whom you can compete. And you can do that in the game. I really recommend it. It's free and it's almost as much fun as these things and a lot less expensive, believe me. Anyway, I hope you like this because that's it for today. <laughs> Thanks and bye bye. What I love about this game is that the tanks are actually authentic and you can fire at everything there is, everything. <laughs> You can detonate houses and towers and of course other tanks. I love it, so I encourage you to download it. Use the link down there in the text description.